Roddy Rich. We got the second single from his upcoming album, the Navy album. This one's called 911. We got a video for this one too. I actually feel like I know what to expect with this one because if you remember on Survivor's Remorse, by the way, if you haven't checked my reaction out to Survivor's Remorse, go check that shit out now. I'll put the link in the description. But on Survivor's Remorse, at the end of the video, he previewed a little bit of another song that's to come, which I believe is this one. Without further ado, man, we gonna get straight into this shit. Y'all enjoy this video, you know what to do. Let's get into it, man. Yep. Yeah, I figured. Yep. I figured it was gonna be this song. All right, let's hear the full thing. Y'all seeing the flow? This motherfucker is smooth as hell. Hold on, I gotta run this whole shit back. Flow is smooth. Cut my tempo. I don't miss. And it's hard as hell that he said, I done cut my tempo to start the song. And he's proving and showing that with his flow, like, I done cut my tempo and hasn't been off beat since. Like, Baby, mama, and yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. What? Yo, this motherfucker would go crazy on a song with Chris Brown. You know when Chris Brown used to make those those OG pop records? Bro, that's what he sound like right now. He sound like how Chris Brown used to come on them joints, bro. Like this shit sound like an 08 pop, pop record, bro. When I call treat me like 911, you this is emer this is an emergency. You pick up immediately. Yeah. Woo. He said, knock out. I earned the belt. Like, I'm the champion of this shit. What? GTA on his ass. Ran off with this shit. That's tough too. How he said, "Put out your fire." I'm the fireman after the whole 911. It's like going along with the scheme. Yo, this song was tough, bro. In terms of a vibe aspect, I definitely like this way more than Survivor's Remorse. Survivor's Remorse was more of like like a pain song, like talking from the soul. This shit was turn up, bro. This shit was straight summer vibes. And you know, something I've noticed, I actually noticed this from last year, but I've noticed the general standard for like vocal production and the overall production of a song has increased from prior to 2023 to from 2023 and after. Like so many artists I've seen, if y'all have seen my Bia video where I reacted to Bia, the Lights Out track featuring JD. I, I was saying the same thing, and I'm going to say the same thing here, too. Like, like Roddy Rich has had production, don't get me wrong. But I don't know, bro. It's something, bro. The standard is it's seeming like more cinema, if that makes sense. Like, music, music videos, 
the the production of the music itself is sounding a lot more cinema like a lot more cinematic a lot more grand than it did before y'all let me know what you thought about this track man i thought this shit was fire i think he's two for two so far with the singles so when it comes to that album man it's still looking enticing bro it's it's looking enticing but y'all let me know what y'all thought in the comments i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one